I think there, there are two things. I, this is a very interesting question. It's one that I, I, I have, uh, it's a discussion that I have with my, my statistician on a, a actually fairly regular basis in terms of the sensitivity and specificity of, of oscillometry and, 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 um, and actually uh, spirometry. So, uh, so let me just sort of first off say again that you know, oscillometry and in fact, uh, conventional pulmonary function studies are agnostic. They can't really tell you what the underlying disease is. And, and so what um, I think the value of oscillometry over spirometry is that the fact that it is way more sensitive than spirometry at identifying that there is something wrong with the graft. And that information is really helpful because as transplant respirologists, we need to make sure that patients do not have an active infection because that's the one that's fatal. That, that, that is the one thing that will be fatal. Um, so when we know that there's something, if you, we can identify early that there's something wrong with the graph, it would prompt investigations, which in most cases for all of us would mean a bronchoscopy, imaging, and other lab tests so that we can uh, differentiate between infection versus acute infection. And none of us would treat uh, rejection, none of us would actually blast patients with more immunosuppression until we've ruled out and treated infection. So that's where I think that it, it is very, very useful. Mm -hmm.